सो इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल स्टार्ट विथ स्टोरिंग आवर प्रोडक्ट्स ओके सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट आई ओपन माई डेटा बेस सो इन दिस वी आर गोना क्रिएट अ न्यू टेबल एंड दैट इज गोना बी प्रोडक्ट्स आई एम सॉरी वी आर गोना क्रिएट अ न्यू टेबल एंड इट्स नेम इज गोना बी प्रोडक्ट्स ओके सो फर्स्ट इज गोना बी आई डी दैट इज गोना बी प्राइमरी ओके एंड इट शुड बी ऑटो इंक्रीमेंटिंग इट इज ऑफ इंटीजर डेटा टाइप okay then after that uh, we have seller id okay so this is a foreign key uh, in the comments i'll write foreign key uh, linking to seller table okay uh, so you should know the basic terminology of uh, dbms if you don't you can simply do a google search and get to know all about it okay then the name of the product uh, image of the product okay then after that i think we need uh, more four columns so i'll add those okay then after image we have price per kg okay so the uh, price then we have description okay not a space okay description and then we have interaction count okay so this this parameter will uh, help us generate the trending thing or what we have called here yes so this will help in the most popular uh, in getting us the most popular list okay so by this what i mean is that every time uh, the product is added in the cart or ordered we will increment its value by 1 and thus by getting the uh getting to and thus with the highest number of interaction count will be the most popular and then uh, others arranged in descending order okay so this is it and after that we don't need a time okay so now this name is gonna be varchar uh, of let's say 100 characters at max images again gonna be varchar of 100 characters at max uh, price per kg uh, is also gonna be varchar uh, 100 characters max and description is going to be where car uh, let's say 1000 characters at max because descriptions are large now uh, interaction count is going to be integer only okay so i think this is done our table is created okay so we can see the structure we have id seller id name image price per kg description and interaction count okay so uh, i forgot one thing in starting it should be zero okay so uh we will go to default as defined zero so that this means that if we don't give any value to this uh by default it will be assigned a value of zero so let's save this okay and with this our products table is ready okay so now let's create uh, create a model class in our uh, php so for that i'll open up, up the vs code okay inside the models folder i'll create a new file that is uh, products.php okay and then this will also have these things at the start okay uh, we can remove the bcrypt uh, because we are not going to store any passwords here okay then let's create a class and the class is class product Okay, we need to give a capital P because class name starts with the capital. Okay, then after that we will define the uh, key va key values. Uh, I mean the uh, names of the data members. Okay, so first we have a private variable that is our table name. Private dollar table, and that is gonna be products. Then we have id uh, we have seller id uh, we have the name uh, we have image we have price per kg we have description 
and last we have interaction count okay so interaction count after this we have a constructor and validate params function this is same in bo in all the model classes so i'll simply copy it and paste it over here then the next thing is uh, storing a product okay so we'll create a method for that first let me format it Okay, so I don't know why this is hap happening. Means like the format thing is not working. Okay, anyway, it is formatted now. Now let's create the function to uh, store the details of the product. So I'll call a public function add product. Okay, then as always, this is gonna have a global instance of our database. okay and then we will uh, take all these properties except id and then uh, prepare them to be added in the query so that is done by adding these three things that is trim html special cares and strip tags we have discussed about all all of them in one of the video okay so the first is seller id so this is going to be seller id and then after that we have another five so i'll copy it and paste it five times and then simply change the name so this is the description and then this is interaction count okay so this was the reason why the uh, formatting was not working i forgot to give a dollar sign over here okay so now once this is done let's store it in our database so for that we again write an sql command sql okay not select but insert uh, into dollar this table and then we write the key names that is a seller id name image uh, price per kg okay then uh, description then enter okay we don't need to add the interaction count because it will be zero by default okay description now we need to check for spellings because if the spelling doesn't match it will crash so it does match okay values then over here i'll break the string uh, i have already discussed uh, these uh, uh, purpose of these six characters in one of the video you can look into it okay then after that over here we write uh, this thing okay we, we call the method escape value which is in our database class okay database escape value this name okay so first it is gonna be seller id i'm sorry seller id then there will be a comma now after this another four and the last one will not have a comma then the name image price per kg and the description okay so once this is done let's save our database so Uh, save this uh, row in our table i am sorry we can't save the database so database query and sql so now if we check if result means if it uh, has a something that means the uh, it has been executed successfully then we return a true else we return false so if everything is correct it should format itself automatically and it did now uh, let's save this okay so with this our function is created uh, we shall create the end point in the next video thank you